today we are decluttering. This is our spare room. For those of you that don't know, we're actually moving house and we're really flipping excited about it. This is one of the steps that I wanted to do before we move. You know, you don't want to move with stuff that you don't want to take into a new space with you. I have not done a closet declutter in a pretty long time. I think the last time I did it was like six months ago, seven months ago. In the lead up to the move, I realised I've really not been buying anything. Even silly things like I really need new underwear and I need new socks, but I've just not been buying anything because I've got this house move in my mind and I just didn't want to buy anything. I want to wait until we move until I refresh my wardrobe, buy some new stuff. But I've been watching a lot of wardrobe declutters and I really enjoy them. They and definitely inspired me to slimline my closet big time. I think I've got quite a lot of clothes but again there's so many things that I've got that I do not need anymore so our plan today is to go right through my closet, get rid of a lot of stuff. Basically I always do the same thing, I'm going to have a pile that's stuff for the bin. I've got a lot of like holy clothes especially my loungewear that I've been abusing throughout lockdown. I've got stuff that doesn't fit me, I've got stuff that's still got the tags on which I can donate or pass on and I'm just really excited. <laughs> if you like videos like this I would love it if you subscribed because there's going to be a lot of this type of video coming up over the next few months especially with the move. So I'm actually waiting on Jack getting back with my Greg's for lunch and then I'm going to give you a tour of what this room looks like just now. We actually are leaving all the fitted units in this room, so we're leaving the drawers that you're sitting on top of, we're leaving the built-in wardrobes obviously. So it's really going to be like starting afresh. I can't even remember what the storage solutions are in our new house. We have only seen it one time. That was the 1st of December actually we went to see the house for the first time and that was the only time we've seen it. I cannot wait to get like a new wardrobe, I can't wait to get a new chest of drawers. Um, it's just super exciting, super exciting. So I'm going to wait for Jack to get back and then we'll get started and I think we're going to be here for a while. Okay, I'm back and I'm fed. I ate too much. I had a Greg's tuna crunch baguette and a yum yum. I've not had a yum yum for so long, it was so good. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to show you what our storage is like right now. I suppose how I've organised my wardrobe at the moment, it's not very neat and tidy, but that's going to change. I'll link all our like storage below, but the, the we've got, I'm just going to show you. These are the fitted wardrobes we've got. I got them mirrored. They're just from Ikea. They're just the PAX system. And if I open up all of this, Hi Juno, hi Juno, you can help. Oh my God. Okay, so in here, it looks like I've got loads of shirts, dresses, I suppose my kind of fancier clothes, I guess. I've got a couple of jumpsuits and stuff. I'm looking at this and I am so ready to get rid of a lot of stuff. I mean, I've not worn a lot of this stuff in a long time. Up here, this is a spare duvet that we've got, an iron. Oh. My straw hat, I actually really like that hat. I've got a random crown in there. And then over here, loads of jumpers. Do you know what? I've got too many jumpers. That's one thing that I really need to declutter for sure. This wardrobe we left so I could put my long stuff. Obviously it didn't really work because it's all on the floor. In hindsight, I think I would actually have the bar up the top or even have this in half and have a really long section and then maybe like shelves or something. When I got this built, I didn't really think about what kind of clothes I had to put in the space, if that makes sense. So it's good to know that that is just not tall enough for my longest stuff. Also, I'm a certified long boy. I'm five foot 10, so a lot of my clothes are super, super long. These little baskets are really handy. I've got loads of like sweats and stuff in there. Oh God, you can see that that's just not working. More jumpers. And then at the bottom we've got like a matching two-piece set that I got sent from Ulla Henriksen. I've got random hats. I literally cannot get rid of this because this is from when I went on safari in Kenya. Every time I look at it, it makes me so happy. Bit mental but yeah I just love it. I'm gonna keep it. Then over here we've got a random little two drawer. I don't even know why we've got this. This is all just clean stuff on top. I've got a mixture of things. I just need to go through that. And then in here, oh god why is there mirrors in there? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> This is just not okay. Uh, I think that's like denim shorts and skirts. Bottom, that looks like more denim shorts and skirts. Again, look, there's something with a tag on it. Need to look through. And then over here, oh my God, this is gonna take me so long. So this is all Jack's stuff. And do you know what? This is where my pajamas are. And every time I come out the bath, Jack, 
or happens to be sitting here playing his game and I have to wait for him to finish because he's playing live before I get my jammies. So I literally just stand here pretty much naked waiting for my pajamas. What do we have in here? See what I mean? Like this is not okay. I've got far, see for someone that does not do any exercise, I have far too much athleisure. So we're gonna clear that out. So that's all like gym stuff. This is literally full of t-shirts. At the bottom here, what's this? Oh, this is like little tops. Some I've had for so, so long that I definitely need to declutter. Aha, this is like jeans and leggings and leather trousers. This one here is like pajamas. Again, I've got far too many pajamas. Like these are really old, they need chucked out. And then at the top, oh, what a mess, is all my underwear. And now, <laughs> this is very personal, but I actually don't care. See pants like this? I never wear them because they look ridiculous under clothes and they're not comfy. So I just think that needs to go look and that happens. Every time I shut that drawer, that happens. So, I mean, that little mini tour has given me no hope. I feel like we're gonna be here all day. When I look at my wardrobe, I am not inspired. I wear the same things over and over again. I feel like even though we've been in lockdown and I've not really been wearing like my proper clothes, I've, I actually have figured out what my style is, I guess. I definitely like to be comfortable. I like neutral tones. So I like denim, black, white, beige, neut just neutral colors and textures. I suppose we always call it comfy chic, right? We call it comfy chic. So there's a lot of stuff that I have that I've had for a long time that it's just not my style uh, and I don't know why I have it. I think I'll start with the wardrobes you know because that to me is easier. I hardly go in them which means that there's a lot more stuff in there that I think I can get rid of. These drawers are a bit trickier because it's just loads of small things whereas there's less in there I feel like I can really declutter and my plan today is to declutter and then just put it back but I'll have a lot less stuff. It will be neat and tidy which will make it really easy to pack. Uh, so I'm not going to actually pack today but I am going to go through my wardrobe in really slim line. I have my trusty speaker. This is the best, this is the UE Boom, the Mega Boom. I bought two of these for me and Jack's wedding when we went to Italy because there was one night that we didn't have music organised and we just thought we would get a couple of speakers. Actually, I think it was the pool party. But we got a couple of these, we got two of these, you can link them up and they're just so good. So I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna have a party while I'm doing this. I'm gonna listen to my music. We'll have a lot of little time lapse and I'm gonna just go through. I'm gonna go through my closet. Oh God, I've got so many weird hangers. That's another good point. I don't have matching hangers. I think I've got random hangers for, from a really long time ago. And I'm not gonna do anything about that until we move and we start to figure out how we're gonna be storing our clothes. In the new house, you will see the way it's laid out. We've got a bit of a walk-in wardrobe in our bedroom that Jack's gonna have, I think. And then in the bedroom, I'm gonna have a chest of drawers for like my comfy everyday stuff. And then all my most favorite clothes, I'm gonna have actually in my makeup room so my new makeup room is going to be a bit of a hybrid between makeup room and I suppose like a dressing room as well just because I've got the space yeah that'll be a really fun thing that we can do together at a later date but at the moment I'm just going to keep everything as it is hopefully I've got some spare hangers after today like I really do not want it to be super super full yeah okay what a weird selection of things so we've got an iron I'll put that out I cannot remember the last time I ironed an item of clothing Oh cool, right. So these are packing cubes that I got from Amazon. Brilliant for when you're traveling. And I have quite a lot of them. I've also got some from Away, which is my favorite suitcase brand. Cool, so I'll just put them all together. That's a couple of other little packing things. These two hats I love. I got this from a flea market in LA. And then this one was so expensive. I bought it from Net-a-Porte. It's the brand Clyde, but it is the coolest floppy straw hat. So I'm definitely gonna keep those. Do you know what? I might just actually put them back up here for the moment. Let's pull out the wardrobe. So I've seen online and Marie Kondo said the same thing, that you need to pull out everything and dump it on your bed. So let's do that. Oh God, I'm nervous. <sighs> I wore that was in LA. We have an empty wardrobe. <laughs> Excited. 
I definitely think if I was building these IKEA wardrobes again, I would really sit and think about it and maybe even like measure what the drop is for my longest dresses so they wouldn't trail across the ground. Okay, first hanger. This is literally how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go through things one by one. This little dress, I just think this is a bit of a staple. See, if I was ever abroad, I would always pack this dress. It's got a nice cowl neck. Yeah, I really like it. It's from House of Harlow from Revolve. And it's Keep You. It's also that neutral tone that I like, that rusty colour. Again, hmm, I mean, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? It's like a burgundy slip dress with a slip down the side and a really nice detail in the back. I think these dresses are just, you know, I feel really comfortable in this style, so I think I should just keep that one as well. I'm not doing very good. <laughs> a wild shirt. I do like, uh, we like to call them shite shirts, don't we? I do like a shite shirt, but I've had this for probably a year and it's still got the tags on. So, see ya. That was exhilarating. Okay, let's have a look at this. Okay, there are two black slip dresses. Again, no, I do really like them. And they're so small that I can just keep them at the back. Because we're in winter at the moment as well, I've not been wearing these, but I really love wearing a t-shirt under a dress like this. I like wearing a dress like this with a belt and heels. I think that these are just really good to have. Again, I've not tried them on in a long time, but I do love a slip dress. I actually, I remember I wore this in Japan. No, I'm keeping these. They're both on the same hanger, so so technically it's one dress. This is a very glam dress and it's also not mine. <laughs> this is my friend Sarah Jane's dress that she lent me so I need to give her that back. So I'm going to put that aside. I bought this for a trip and I never wore it. Really like it. It's got a nice ruche detail at the side. Do you know what I do sometimes as well? See if I've got something like this that's a bit fancier. I'll keep it until I wear it because we've not had any events to go to so that's why I've not worn it yet. Do you know what I mean? I like the colour as well. I like olive green. This dress is so gorgeous. Do you know what? I really do love the shape of this though, so I'm going to keep it. This is from White Fox and I've actually got it in white as well because I loved it that much. And if I don't want this, I actually know that my mum wants it, so I'm going to keep that just now. I like the colour scheme at the moment. Okay, here's another thing. I have worn this a few occasions. I've put it on. It's a jumpsuit from Revolve, but it's not. it doesn't really do anything for me. So, see ya. Oh my god, I bought this from Lorna Lux's collection with in the style and she wore it in Italy and oh my goodness it was perfect it's like a huge big trapeze dress yeah I want to keep that and wear it for a photo How much better is that? It even looks somewhat coordinated. I swapped out any hangers for the black ones because I had enough. But what we have here, dresses again. I don't really want to get rid of too much stuff before the world opens up again somewhat or if we get to go somewhere nice and sunny because at the moment I was like, oh, I'll just bin all my dresses. I don't wear them anymore anyway. But that's because we're stuck in the house. So I'm not being too rash, I don't think. So I've got really lovely neutral dresses. A lot of these I've had for a long time. Jack got me this dress for like my 24th birthday so I've kind of colour coordinated slightly just loads of nice summer dresses that I love wearing something a little bit more glam and fitted moving into different colours a little bit of a khaki moment a little leopard print moment there oh my god how lovely is that it's the Camila Coelho collection on Revolve love that so is this actually oh wait where is it I cannot wait to wear this dress out and about I love it oh there's another that's one of my fave leather dresses really love that that one is from NBD NBD we've got a couple of skirts that I bought from Anina Bing they're a really big baggy pair of trousers like cargo pants but I actually quite like them I think that they could be styled up really nice some suit trousers that I love my denim jumpsuit that I got at a thrift store in America girlfriend denim love that and then I've just got like a hand a selection of shirts I didn't get rid of any of my white shirts because like this one here I can see that I need to bleach that but I wear white shirts all the time I really love a white shirt oh my god I got this on Etsy when me and Jack were getting married and I absolutely love it it's like a big billowy gown I just can't get rid of it it was dead expensive as well but that's so much better. I so remember. I used to work in All Saints and we used to always do the finger spacing to keep it nice and tidy. But I'm really, really chuffed with that. I think it looks a lot neater. I love everything that's in there and some of the things that I'm like, eh, I think I need to wait until summer to give it a good go. So well done.
That took fucking ages. <laughs> I have loads of spare hangers. I actually think I got rid of quite a lot of stuff there and I'm just doing it messy and then I'm gonna go through all the piles and split it into, cause there's some stuff that is so like stained that just needs thrown out. There's some stuff with tags on, like I said, that I can donate or sell. And then there are definitely stuff there for women's shelter. So I'm gonna leave it there. It's all clean, the floor's all clean as well, but I'm just gonna sort through this pile last cause I feel like I'm on a roll. In the wardrobe as well, there was like t-shirts so I kind of want to fold these up. I might just put them there just now so they don't get mixed up. And actually I love this top, I need to hang this back up. But we're doing good. So it's this kind of thing that makes me really sad. These two joggies are like some of my favourites, but <laughs> we had Juno as a puppy and she ripped both of them. Puppy teeth are so sharp and small. But these are from Avair Nation, which you can't really get that many places, but you can get them in LA. And I've had them for ages. I love that there's a rainbow stripe down the side. And even though they're holy, I just love them so much. I actually think, oh God, I actually think I just want to keep these just for comfort. Like that's the kind of thing, like I love them so much that I would buy them again. So maybe I should just buy them again. I'll keep them until I replace them. And then these, these are my favourite, I actually got these in Los Angeles as well. These are my favourite joggies from PE Nation, such a cool brand. Pretty pricey, but do you know, and her little Tic Tac teeth ripped them. Again, I love them so much that I think I just want to keep them. To be fair, I've looked at PE Nation a few times in the hopes of replacing these with a pair that aren't <laughs> ripped, but I can't really find them, which again makes me nervous. So I think, oh God, should I keep these? Like this is the kind of thing that you should probably get rid of right if they're holy because i can't wear these out i'm gonna keep them just now if i had to guess i would say that i am a third of the way done it feels to me like i've got loads of stuff pulled out ready to move move on but i've still got quite a lot of clothes i feel like it's hard in this current climate because i i don't even know what i would wear now <laughs> I can't remember the last time I got dressed to do something. I'm gonna have a wee sip of my coffee, a wee 10 minutes, and then we'll get back to it. I'm really nervous about these drawers. I'm gonna pull out everything in these little drawers next, and then all that's left is the big drawers. So I really struggled to get rid of any of my denim shorts. I just love them, and whenever I travel, in a hot country, I always wear denim shorts. So they are different shades of blue and different lengths, and I need them all. Another thing that I've not got rid of too many is jeans. Just because I've not worn them in quite a while, I have put aside a pair that are too big for me and a pair that are quite jazzy that I just don't wear. I just think it's quite good to have, like I've got skinny jeans, I've got two pairs of black skinny jeans, dark blue and grey. Well, they're kind of like skinny jeans as well. They're my favourite jeans of all time, my good American ones with a frayed ankle. Here are a pair of jeans that are a tiny bit too small at the moment, but I just really love them and I don't want to get rid of them. These are super baggy grey jeans, which I love, very like granddad style. And then all my kind of lighter blue jeans, these I just, I wear jeans all the time. So I'm just going to keep them at the moment. Leather leggings, faux leather and kind of like biker leggings in there, like a nice pair of pinstripe. And my thoughts are, I'm going to keep them all. And then when the world starts to open back up or I start to wear them, if I put a pair on and I'm like, eh, these actually don't do much for me, then I'll get rid of them. But for the moment, I'm just going to keep them all. making very good progress. I just done my drawer full of like little tops and I found all my bodysuits. I'm gonna take them out and hang them. This is a polo neck bodysuit from Kos. I just wanted to mention that I got this quite a while ago now and it is the most lovely material. It's thick but not too thick. It just feels super luxe. And I had a bodysuit that was pretty much the exact same from ASOS that when I held up to the light, it was like balding in parts. So this is the kind of thing, see when it's like a basic item that you'll wear over and over again. Honestly, it doesn't even really matter with the seasons because it's cold in Scotland all the time. I would wear something like this all the time. This is like, something that I would invest in 
And it's not even that crazy, it, it was maybe, honestly it was maybe like twice the price, but you're gonna get twice as long out of it. Really? Who's winning? Me, I'm winning. And then I've got some like slinkier, I mean that, that's Zara and it looks like it's falling apart. Actually, I'm not even keeping that. This is done. Finito. See, by doing this closet clear out, I know exactly what I'm needing to get. I mean, I'm not gonna be buying anything anytime soon, but when the world opens up, what a fun thing it will be. We can all treat ourselves to something new for our wardrobes to wear. Cool. Is that like a polo neck? Yes. But that's amazing. I was just thinking, this is obviously like a declutter, which is like a cleaning video, you know? Um, but when we move and I've unpacked, let me know if you want a, like a closet tour and I can show you exactly what kind of things uh, I see. So look, prime example, here's another cheaper one. This is misguided and it is just falling apart. There's holes all over it. Annoying. I might actually need to get another one because I do. I like the cost one's quite big. Like it's got big pants instead of a thong. I quite like my body suits to be a bit skinnier. But I do love a bodysuit. I would like to invest in some more bodysuits. I'm gonna keep this misguided one. It's not holy at all. That was a bit of fluff. Um it's not bad and I don't think I've worn it a lot. I think it's only got a few more wears left in it before it starts to do that thing. So I'll hang it up next to the other one. And then this is a beautiful body that I've not had the chance to wear yet from Privacy Place. Put you in here. So wardrobe's all done. This is like, I suppose my I'm actually getting dressed wardrobe. And then in here is like comfies. So I've still got, I've still got quite a lot of sweatshirts, but I just can't get rid of them. I wear them all the time. Every time you see me, I'm wearing a sweater, right? And I've got like matching sets. So I'm actually quite happy with that. It is declared. And then up here, I've got my straw hats for when I can wear them again. Packing cubes for when I can pack again. And then in here is summer and winter specific clothes. And I'm gonna figure out a better way to do it. I don't know whether it's like the bags that you use the hoover and they shrink to keep it all super dry and, and safe. Like it's super summery stuff like sarongs, cover-ups, beach cover-ups. And then I've got really wintery stuff like my skiing stuff, gloves, hats, scarves, things like that. So I just keep them in this bag. It's really specific. I would never reach for any of that stuff unless I was going somewhere that I would need it. So happy with that. Didn't really get rid of any swimming suits. I had a couple of white ones that were so old that they were discolored, so I got rid of them. These are all like my small tops that I think are really nice. I actually would really like to hang these up because they are slightly more dressy, but I'm happy with that. You remember how crazy that was? This is like my working out stuff. <laughs> Again, I've still got quite a lot for someone that doesn't do anything, but convinced that that's going to change at some point. So, love that for me. Pajamas, so much better. Look, I've literally got like a couple of sets of my favourite pajamas, some little cute bits from Victoria's Secret. And then down here, my jeans. So that's still pretty full as well, but I mentioned that I'm gonna actually like try them all on and as and when I'm trying them on and wearing them, if they're not working out for me, then that's when I'll get rid of them. Okay, so what we've got left? Oh, the t-shirt drawer, this is hellish. And then my underwear, which is also crazy. Let's do t-shirts first. nearly done. I just want to try on this pair of jeans. This is what everyone looks like when they're cleaning out their clothes, don't they? Oh, yeah. No, they're too big. Yeah, I really love them though. <laughs> I'm nearly done. It's making me very happy. I feel like we've accomplished a lot today. But I'm just doing the thing, you know, I just wanted to double check if these jeans fit or not. And they do not. Oh, but I really love them. I really love them. They're the comfiest. They sit quite low on me, but, and they are a bit big, but do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna keep them and wear them with like a belt, or maybe maybe I'll get them tailored in the future. There's actually another dress that I've got that my mum and dad got me for Christmas that I need to get tailored. I don't know if I'm just long, but so many dresses that I buy, the straps around the shoulders are really short, and it's not like it doesn't fit me around the chest, but because it's so high up and the triangles for the dresses start so high, it just makes me look like I've got a big uni boob. Anyway, I'm glad that I pulled these back out because they are the coolest jeans. Uh, now I need to put my shorts back on. 
Let's see how long that was. So it's 10 to 4. Do you know what? It took me five hours. I think that's okay. I think that's quite good actually. I'm delighted. Let me show you. Let me show you the progress. These wardrobes are way better. I definitely do not need to be buying any clothes, especially if we're all still in lockdown for a while. I have so many clothes still. Really lovely clothes as well. I'm really, really happy. I feel really lucky to have all this stuff. Really chuffed with how this looks. I think it even looks neater. In every single piece in here, I either want to wear or love and wear all the time so really chuffed with that oh my sun hats which i will wear again one day and then in here empty up here which is great ahead of the move and then what i've done is i've actually hung up any designer t-shirts so i don't have a huge designer collection but i am lucky enough to own some designer pieces and this is all stuff that i really want to keep and honestly i forget about it like this t-shirt oh my god this t-shirt is ridiculous but it's one of my favorite things that i own it's the off-white simpsons collection i'm obsessed with the simpsons so i love it so it's just really nice all these things were folded up at the bottom of my drawer and i totally forgot about them so i thought i would hang them up in here so i remember and actually actually wear this stuff jumpers is the only thing i've not been great at decluttering that's a lot of black jumpers. I do not need this many, but I really do love them all. I've got my Vive one, my Anina Bing, which I wear all the time. I love this jumper. It's a Givenchy jumper. I bought it years and years ago in Italy and it was on sale and it's got the Rottweiler on it. The only thing is I don't really wear red that often, but I'm, I'm definitely, I need to keep it. I need to keep it. It's got great memories. Uh, what's this one? Playboy. Like I could get rid of this. I could definitely get rid of this, but I love wearing it when I walk the dog, so I'm not going to get rid of it. Uh, this is much better. I've decluttered loads. I have a couple of matching sets. I've got, I think this one's just from ASOS. Uh, I've got a Juicy Couture tracksuit, classic, not getting rid of that. This is a really nice little two-piece that Ulla Henriksen sent. I've got some Adidas trackies in there, and that actually shuts now, which is great. These are the two holy pairs of joggies that I can't bear to get rid of, and I'm not going to at the moment because I've managed to get rid of quite a lot of stuff. So I've got my Lorna Lux two-piece in here that I wear pretty much every every Friday night. I get changed into that for drinking my glass of wine. <laughs> These are great joggies from SLA, Sarah Ashcroft's brand that I really like. And then at the bottom, I've got my 30 years sets. I've got a nice white jumper and I've got a couple of spare Vive jumpers, which I'm keeping a hold of. Look at this. Three proper full bags of stuff that I'm getting rid of. Oh, really, really happy. And then in here, I've literally got denim shorts, which I explained I really love my denim shorts. And then literally just a few skirts and some belts. I got rid of some belts as well that didn't fit anymore. And then these are in much better order. I have my gym stuff again. I've got too much gym stuff. I probably need to go through this again. But I do really like it all. We'll see. I might, I might revisit this situation. T-shirts, I've still got too many t-shirts. Oh, I'll revisit this as well, but I just couldn't, I couldn't bear it. Also, I've got like some mental t-shirts that are like memories that I really don't want to get rid of. So I'm keeping all those at the moment. This is a huge success. This is all swimwear. And then these are little tops that I said, once I've got a bit more space, I can hang them up as well, which will be great. Bottom drawer here is my jeans. Oh, too full. Still got too many jeans. See if I rolled them up. I'd probably fit more in and you'd be able to see them all. I might try that when we move, but for the moment, this is fine. And yeah, I am quite happy with this. Oh, my pyjama drawer. So these are like my pyjamas and my nice jammies that I've got. These are two of my oversized Harley Davidson t-shirts and I've got a wee t-shirt in there as well. I really like wearing a t-shirt to bed. So these are like my bed t-shirts, but I also wear these like all the time as well. This is my little Skims set that I love. And then... My underwear drawer is much better. <laughs> Don't know what else to say. Really, really happy with that. I feel like a big weight's been lifted. It's nice as well just going through everything. Like I know exactly everything that I own. I know that I don't need any new clothes. I have a feeling that when we move and I do this again, there might be even more stuff that I decide to shed. But bearing in mind that we're in lockdown and we're really not wearing our clothes or getting to enjoy our clothes as much as we usually do, I was a wee bit cautious with getting rid of too much stuff. So everything that I've got, I really, really like. There's definitely a couple of spaces in my wardrobe for certain pieces. I've got a suit that I really love that's in the other rail. Oh God, actually, that's a really good point. I've not gone through that. I have a rail in my makeup room that is like my most favorite clothes. And I've got my Anina Bing suit in there. I've got a couple of jumpers, a couple of jackets, but that's like my most favorite stuff. And like I said, when we move, I could do a little bit of a wardrobe 
tour, uh, a closet tour and show you guys exactly what pieces. I do think that I need to slimline even more but for today I think it's a quite good look. I've got one, two, three, three black bags full of clothes that I was going to sort them today but I'm sick of looking at clothes after that so I'm going to save it and I'll do it another day but I'm going to sort through them all. There's definitely stuff that needs to get chucked out. A lot of like white things that were stained. There was just stuff that's general wear and tear. As you can tell by my two pairs of jockeys that have holes in them, I do struggle to let go of certain things that I really love. So I think we did really good. I'm thrilled. A really nice thing to do, especially if you're moving into a new space, is making sure all your clothes are clean, decluttering like I've just done. And it's just it's just like fun. It's like exciting to take all your nice clean clothes that you love into your new space. So that's exactly what I've started doing today. I hope that this has inspired you to do a wee declutter. It does feel very therapeutic. It feels like you're shedding weight, getting rid of some of that weight off your shoulders. It's really, really nice. I'm looking forward to whatever happens next. I think the next video like this that you'll see is me packing up my makeup room, which I'm not, I'm, I'm really nervous about that. I think it's going to take me about a week. I've scheduled in two days into my diary, but I think it might take a week. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Purchasing any... Sorry, there was a squirrel outside. Oh, yeah, it still is. <gasps> How am I going to do that? These are... Ow! Ow! When I... <laughs> I have the most random Halloween dressing up items. Belt and heels. Heels, who am I kidding? Oh, I can hear the rain. How are you liking the rain, girl? I can just wear them with a belt. I'm not doing this yet. Yep. <laughs> These are my beach trousers. I couldn't have like deciphered what I had even though- oh, God that doesn't make any sense. What's the point? What's the point?